today we have. With all the powers at their disposal, even Australia's top cop and top spy are pleading with social media companies for help. It can be a matter of life and death and that's why we're asking for this capably. I want to encourage tech companies to continue working with law enforcement. Security agencies are finding it harder to track suspected criminals because of end-to-end -end encryption on messaging apps. It protects privacy, it enables communications and transactions. But at the same time, it also protects terrorists and spies. The boss of Australia's domestic intelligence organisation saying encryption has impacted all its counter-terrorism cases, but that could be fixed with the assistance of social media companies. Without their help, in very limited and strictly controlled circumstances, encryption is unaccountable. Social media isn't just causing problems for police, but parents too. We used to warn our children about stranger danger, but now we need to teach our kids about the digital world deceivers. Last financial year, there were more than 40,000 reports of online child exploitation. That figure is climbing. There's also a growing number of children being radicalised, while violent and pornographic content is becoming easier to access. I don't think it is safe for young children to use these platforms. The opposition suggesting the government should introduce laws to block children from using social media. We don't let the tobacco industry regulate the supply of tobacco, so why would we let the social media industry regulate the supply of their products? Safety online is a collective responsibility of industry, of government and the technology companies need to do more. For now, most of the heat is being directed at X, formerly known as Twitter, as owner Elon Musk opposes an order to pull down videos showing the stabbing attack at a Sydney church. We're seeing megalomaniacs like Elon Musk going to court to fight for the right to show terrorist content alleged terrorist content on his platform. It's not just Elon Musk who wants to keep this video online. The federal court heard today the bishop who was stabbed in Sydney is strongly of the view that the footage shouldn't be taken down. For now, X has been told it must comply with the eSafety Commissioner's order and remove the content from particular accounts. However, X's lawyer has argued that attempts to suppress the footage has only resulted in more people sharing it online. Stephanie Boris ABC News, Canberra.